on my way back from the gym here in New York and I'm working on a chapter of my new book, What They Should Have Taught Us in School. And uh, the chapter is how to make money, which is probably the number one question people ask me. And it was interesting. One of my, my second mentor, Alan Nation, he told me, before you can fix where you are, you have to understand how you got to where you were. So if you're broke when I was broke, I had to start out, before I asked how I could get unbroke or make money, I had to figure out why I was in that scenario to start with. And I think the most basic reason is that in school they don't teach us even the basic definition of money. Like I've asked tens of thousands of people when I do public speaking, what is the definition of money? Define money in like three words or less. And people give me all these different answers in long paragraphs, but it took me years to really find the answer which I'm putting in the book, but I guess I'll tell you now. It's scarce in-demand resources. And until you really understand what that means, it's hard to make real money in life. So you ask yourself, why does a school teacher make less money than a pro basketball player? Isn't education or being a teacher more uh, relevant, more um, helpful to society than being able to throw a ball you know, in a hoop? But that's not how our system works. You understand the capitalistic system it rewards people who have scarce in-demand resources so let's think about it what's more rare and I'm not saying by the way this is right and this is how the world should be I'm just explaining how it is if you can if you're six foot six can throw a ball in a hole or kick a ball like a soccer player you make 50 million bucks a year by the way speaking of that I got my new kicks wearing my New York socks since I'm here in New York, but it's more rare to be able to play pro athletics than it is to be able to teach school or, you know, uh, serve coffee at Starbucks. And therefore, less money flows in that direction. Money's like a flow, like a river, and it flows in the directions of scarce, but it can't just be scarce, it has to be in demand. For example, if you know how to do underwater basket weaving, that's scarce, very few people could teach that, but no one cares. So, going back to the sports analogy, World Cup, 700 million people watched it. So if you can play pro soccer, like Messi, like Ronaldo, you know, you all of a sudden, you're, you have a scarce skill to be that good, and it's in demand. And that adds up to 50 million bucks. So what you have to do in life, and it's what I'm gonna talk about in this book, it should be released here soon, is how you can make money move your direction, not with a get rich quick scheme, not just thinking about it, but actually making it happen. And the first place to start is building more scarce in demand skills. It's too bad they didn't do that while we were in school, spend two or three hours every day instead of just memorizing stuff and you know, doing spelling bees and stuff like that, which I guess is somewhat relevant, but not really in the modern world where you have spell check. What's really important is to really have a deep understanding and a deep skill set that's scarce and in demand. And that will make you twice the money, three times the money, a hundred times the money that you're making now. So hope that helps.